Imagine a child, he's joyful, happy, and eager to explore the world. But one day he gets sick, his temperature rises, his face becomes pale, he has a bacterial infection! Parents, filled with fear, grab their sports car and rush their kid to the hospital. Hey kid, my name is Dr. Cure and you are? My name is Jeff. Okay, Bob. Doctor, my throat hurts. Don't panic, kiddo. It is only a bacterial infection. Let's take some samples to find exactly which bacteria you have. Then we can give you the right antibiotic to kill the right bacteria. We will kill my virus. But what are antibiotics? Antibiotics are chemical compounds often prescribed as pills and can be made synthetically or extracted from bacteria in their natural environment. Bacteria often releases toxic chemicals to survive and outcompete other species. Antibiotics work by targeting specific molecules inside bacterial cells while leaving the host organism, which in our case is the child, unaffected. For example, antibiotics can target bacterial cell wall, increase its permeability, and allow a lot of particles and molecules to leave the cell, thus killing the bacterial cell. Antibiotics can also reduce protein synthesis by inhibiting ribosomal subunits and other metabolic mechanisms. But most importantly, antibiotics will only kill bacteria, not a viruses because viruses are acellular organisms with different structures. So what about the child at the hospital? The doctor returns with the laboratory results and says, OMG, you have escaped! <laughs> Here, quickly take these antibiotics, they should help. Little does the kid know his infection with escape is life-threatening. Escape organisms are bacteria that gain resistance to multiple modern antibiotics. But how can bacteria become so powerful? Since bacteria divides every 20 minutes, there are high chances for random mutations to happen in their genetic code. Some of these mutations can result in an altered binding site, preventing antibiotic molecules from binding to the target protein. Other mutations can increase the efficiency of efflux pumps to remove antibiotic at a higher rate. These mutations result in antibiotic resistance and with increased exposure to antibiotics in modern hospitals, we end up with superbugs like escape, which are extremely difficult to kill. So how do we fight antibiotic resistance? One way is to look for new antibiotic producing bacteria in the soil, a teaspoon of High quality soil can have as much as 1 billion bacteria and chances are at least one of them will produce antibiotic which kills infectious pathogens. To find these, we have to isolate a lot of bacterial colonies from the soil and then test the antibiotic producing abilities against different bacterial organisms, in our case, escape pathogens. The new antibiotic producing bacteria can be cultured and antibiotic can be extracted to fight modern superbugs. But wait, so if the exposure to antibiotic causes antibiotic resistance, how do we know that our newly discovered drug will not lead to additional resistant organisms? We don't, until it's too late. But hey, we cured the kid, right? 